What's up YouTube? It's your girl Renee from RG Mode and I'm back with another video and this is going to be a fashion video. Um, it's pretty much a collection of things that I've purchased over the course of maybe a month or so. Um, maybe like a few weeks, three weeks or so. And I think I'm going to actually separate it by store instead of by category just because I think it may be easier that way and I also maybe be able to provide a few links down below in the description box. So check that out too and it'll be by store. So just jump Jumping right in, I have been loving accessories lately and <laughs> shoes in more particular. So you'll see tons and tons of shoes. First item is like so bomb. It's this amazing bag right here. I got this one from a local boutique. I think it's called Lux and that boutique I will link down below. I did actually try to find this bag but I could not find it or the next item but because they're kind of local I don't think that they share everything onto their website. However they have tons of cute stuff on the website and if you're in the Austin area you can totally go to one of their stores. I believe they have one downtown. They also have one in the Domain Mall so if you're local you know all about that. Um, but yeah the little store is super cute they have tons of different types of accessories fashion shoes and stuff and I snagged this bag they also have like a pretty unique big size like clearance section too so I always kind of go in that area just to see if there's anything new and anything exciting and I found this bag it was only 20 bucks so a really great steal it's super big as you can see um, but what I love most about this bag is that it's a really great color so this is such a fall awesome automato type of color i get a lot of compliments on this bag too because you don't really see bags like this it also looks really expensive as well but it was only 20 bucks and i'm a girl who loves gold so majority of all of my apparel or accessories may have like a gold finishing on it or some gold hardware and this one actually has this really bright shiny silver which i actually do love and i feel like it looks really good against the orange so I think if it was gold, it'd probably look a little weird, but I love, love that that silver kind of like stands out. So the next item I got from that boutique are these really cute red booties. So these shoes I believe were about $40 and that is still a steal. I have not worn them so the tag is still right there. Like I said, I could not find these shoes on their website. However, if you're in the local area, you can probably still find them in store. But they were only $40 bucks and I thought that was a steal. What I love the most about this shoe is that it has this really great thick heel. So it's more comfortable than your normal stiletto. And I love the pointed toe on it. I love the tassel detailing too. And the back has that exposed gold zipper which is really chic and cute as well so it's just a really nice statement booty and I love it so the next shop I'm going to tell you about is actually an online subscription and I used to be a subscriber I guess to this subscription um, I want to say maybe about five years ago I loved it and I kind of just fell off from using it because I was doing more in-store shopping and if you're familiar with shoe dazzle then you'll know about their subscription it's like a $39 a month subscription that you can actually opt out of um, but they have like a curated showroom for you so if you're a person who can't get around to shopping for yourself or if you're a person that just kind of loves like that detailed like stylist type of thing that they give you that option then they kind of curate this whole lookbook for you for a month of what they think kind of caters to your style so I usually don't shop my lookbook or like my little showroom that they put together because I end up wanting other things but um, I did find these amazing shoes I have these guys right here you see I'm already in green right now so it kind of looks kind of chic with my outfit actually this probably be really cute with like some black rip denim and then these they are these kelly green amazing velvet booties i love these so first of all let's get into the fact that they're velvet and they're like a really good quality i've seen some really cheaply made velvet booties lately especially if they're on the more inexpensive side and i just absolutely love these i was hoping that they came and they actually represented the same quality i saw online because sometimes pictures can you know 
be a little bit deceiving sometimes when you're shopping online but these came perfect they i just they, the way i thought they were online is exactly how they in how they are in person i love the thick chunky heel like i said i'm a person who kind of goes for a chunkier heel just based off of wanting that comfort i'm not really a stiletto type of a person um it doesn't have like a super pointy toe however it is pointier and rounded at the same time um it does have an exposed zipper however the zipper is actually like an emerald green color as well so it blends in more with the velvet but then the actual zipper pool is a gold one which is really cute i feel like the emerald color mixed in with golds look really really great it look really like high end and it also kind of gives you like those holiday christmas vibes which i love about this shoe um i feel like i'm actually gonna put together an outfit with this like oversized sweatshirt that i have on with these because i feel like it'll like give it a really great edgy look i honestly had no idea that i was matching my haul right now but this is super cute so next i'm gonna jump into a piece that i got from target i did have a pair of jeans but it's actually in a wash right now but outside of those jeans i actually also picked up this really cute little crossbody bag and it's this really nice navy color I just absolutely love the detailing of this bag i love the little tassels they're like kind of minimalistic they're not as crazy as a lot of tassels are right now um but i love the fact that it has like a little zip compartment in the front and then also the main compartment um and i love the fact obviously that it has this great gold detailing on the hardware which is really awesome so this is just a really cute bag and sometimes um i feel like giving your like accessories more color and more vibrancy is great to like really enhance your outfit and so I look for pieces like this that can just really take my outfit to the next level without like overdoing it so they have really great bags this bag actually was only 14 bucks on sale so such a great steal you're in the market for a new crossbody bag or something like that definitely look at target they have really great quality pieces for an affordable price all right so most recently i actually was shopping online at charleroose now my last haul i actually talked about charleroose and how the quality of their clothing is not as great and how i don't really go in there but when i do sometimes i find hidden gems and stuff like that so most recently i had went into charleroose and i found these amazing silver booties and you'll see in this clip right here that um they're so cute but <laughs> the detailing of them when they came was a little more cheap than i had expected because when i saw them in store they actually were um a better quality they did not have my size in store so i decided to buy them online and because uh, when I got them, the quality wasn't as great, I actually returned them. And so when I returned them, I actually decided to just do some exchanging and get some nice knitwear. So the first piece is this amazing knit sweater. It's more of like a oversized, kind of like a coat almost too, because it, it definitely gives you like warm coat vibes than it does a cardigan. Um, but it's a really nice mustardy, orange yellow type of color really vibrant and i feel like you can wear such a minimal outfit with this and throw this on top and it kind of just gives your outfit a little more color and fun and uh it's really warm this was actually i believe 28.99 so a really great price um for something of this like type of style and texture and weight like it's just a really good quality piece that you wouldn't expect from a place like Charleroi's honestly so I kind of felt like this was like a hidden gem there as well I also picked up this sweater here this sweater has really great detailing in the actual arms so it has this like nice lace-up detailing um and it kind of ties up right here so I really really look for things that have like really great details like that and that kind of um gives your outfit a little more edge i love this uh really neutral color as well i feel like it's really great to kind of match it with some of anything i love neutrals especially in the fall because you can totally wear like really great statement coats and really nice scarves and then keep everything else pretty minimal and this sweater was also 29.99 which is still a pretty great price for a sweater so this next sweater I picked up is this one right here. It's in a really nice, rich, like rustic orange type of color. I love that like rust orange color in the fall. It just looks like you blend in with the sceneries, you know, with the changing of the leaves colors and all that type of stuff. Um, it is a really nice v-neck in the front and then in the back it actually has this lace-up detailing, which is also really awesome and kind of gives it a little more sexier appeal. Sometimes you can feel really stuffed into a sweater and feel like, you know, either you're too hot or you're just a little more frumpy whereas sweaters like this 
um, are really great and it makes for a more like a night out type of look so you can totally take your sweaters from daytime to nighttime which is really great all right so next are some pieces that I actually picked up from Nordstrom's and Nordstrom Rack and the first thing I want to talk about is this really cool Ivy Park oversized tank um, I have been wanting something from Ivy Park for quite a long time now and I decided to pick this up. Now, of course, if you know anything about Ivy Park, it is more athletic or athleisure type of clothing. So I wanted to wear this actually more so like as a sports type of outfit, but not necessarily to the gym. I feel like um, the things that I wear to the gym are I'm going to get like either super sweaty in or... I don't know I just don't think about it as being like I want to go out and get something really expensive I kind of look to like just a regular cotton t-shirt and some really nice yoga leggings and call it a day whereas this I actually wear as an outfit I thought this shirt would be really great with some leather leggings or even like that whole patent leather type of style that's out right now so I thought this either tucked into I have a patent leather skirt a pencil skirt that would be really chic with this or even doing it with some jeans, some ripped jeans and some booties. So I wanted to kind of edgy it up. So I thought that would be really cool and chic. Um, Ivy Park stuff is not super expensive. Um, however, this shirt was only 26 bucks. So not a bad deal at all. All right, so the next two items are actually from Nordstrom Rack, and I love Nordstrom Rack when it comes to their shoes. Like, it's the best section to shop in, honestly, because they have so many deals. So I ended up picking up these really cute mules, and as you see, I have not worn these yet, and they were only $19.89. Such a great deal, and I love the suede detailing of this shoe. And this shoe is by the brand Kenneth Cole, which is a really great brand. And so for 20 bucks, that was like a great steal. So these next shoes are actually Nike Air Max ones. These are the Royal Gem Red shoe. And these actually came out last year and they were like all the craze. They are so, so bright and so beautiful. I absolutely love that color detailing. And they are a suede upper, which is really great. It also comes with this removable tongue and ankle support which is really really cool so you have that like brown camel color detailing but you can totally take it away and keep your shoe really sleek and red it still has a sole insert inside so if you take it out you don't have to worry about like putting a new insert in it or anything like that these shoes regularly retail for $200 and actually got this for $120 which is still a good deal um, I love love this color especially right now this color is popping right now so um, just a really great statement shoe so I have those red boots that showed you earlier but if I don't want to wear those or if I wanted to do an outfit where I was gonna do this booty but then I decided that I wanted to like make it more casual I can totally pop these on or vice versa like okay so the next shop I'm going to talk about is Saks Off Fifth I love Saks Off Fifth because they have really really great pricing really great deals on a lot of different designer and luxury brands so the first brand I'm going to show you is these Philip Lim kind of like a sneaker a loafer mixed in one I absolutely love these shoes because of the statement that this print is I love this snake print I feel like it just looks so chic but the actual like gum bottom of this shoe makes it more sport which is really great so I have never owned anything as luxury as this brand like I have a few Marc Jacob pieces and um that's pretty much it and I have like a Michael Kors shoe or something like that but something like a Philip Lim is like I was just impressed and so excited and I just couldn't believe it that they were on sale so I actually got these for 40 bucks and they were originally $425 I believe and that is like an insane amount I have never spent anything close to that amount on like any type of clothing apparel um so <laughs> I was just, you know, like I had these hats come home with me and I was so excited that they actually fit and everything. The next shoes I got are these amazing Viscomuto clogs. Um, when I think of clogs, I think of fall anyway, so I felt like these were appropriate. I had never owned a clog actually, so I decided to pick these up. Now I know a lot of clogs actually don't have the like Mary Jane type of ankle strap situation going on, um, but I do tend to like more of an ankle support anyway, especially with such a high heel. It is a platform, however, like the heel is still high, let's be honest. So I was excited that it actually did have like a little strap. I love the studding detail as well. Just really, really great fall shoe and I cannot wait to style these these were originally 80 bucks but I got them for 40 so they were like half off which is not bad at all 
So the last item I got from Saks is, or Saks Off Fifth, is this amazing Marc Jacobs. <laughs> and you can see from the box, I absolutely love how like sleek the packaging is all the time. Um, but it's these amazing shoes right here. These are the Marc Jacobs Pony Hair Sneaker. I love the detailing of this as well. I love the like midnight blue kind of it's kind of mixed with like a royal blue like a cobalt blue royal blue and a midnight blue they all three had a baby like this is the color of it i love that like mohair kind of pony hair type of detailing but then the back actually has like just the leather detailing which is great and then it gives you like chelsea boot vibes with this like accordion style kind of elasticated sides which is really great and then it gets more sporty at the sole so the sole has like a reminiscent kind of converse type of sole which is really great as well so it gives you a mixture of a lot of different things a lot of different components put into this one shoe which makes it super edgy I just really love this shoe um again such a great steal from Saks Off Fifth this was originally 240 bucks and I actually got these for 50 dollars which is like I couldn't leave them in the store obviously so these are so awesome and I cannot wait to style these either the next store I actually made a purchase in is from American Eagle. American Eagle is one of my favorite stores to buy denim. I absolutely love their denim because of the quality, the stretch. I just feel like I want my denim to not be super structured but have like really great stretch and that can contour to my curves and all that. So I got some denim pants and I have been looking for some denim that actually was reminiscent to these. So. I kind of lift it up but I love the ankle detailing on this denim I love that it's just really distressed and really kind of like super ripped up um, and I have been looking for some denim that actually had all of this detailing so these are actually only 20 bucks they always have these massive sales so all of their denim that is on sale will go to $20 but I just love the ripped detailing on these the next store that I made a few purchases in is JCPenney and <laughs> I'm not a person who actually normally shops in JCPenney. I don't really go in there honestly. Like JCPenney, Sears, those type of stores I kind of like you know see the commercials and like see the deals and stuff but I'm like mm, I don't know if they'll have anything trendy enough or something that's like more my style or whatever it is but I just decided to go in there because I was looking for a friend for a gift and then I stumbled across something that is like so bomb so <laughs> it's this really chic velvet blouse it's so cute I love the like little kind of like fluttered sleeves it's really great and I love that neckline as well I feel like the neckline just really screams like elegant and sophisticated and kind of office appropriate as well so it just really looks nice um and I love velvet right now like I am so obsessed with velvet if it from like fashion to accessories home decor like I love it it's making a movement right now and I'm so excited because I've always really really loved velvet and um, I just think that it's so cute I love this color as well it's kind of giving me like copper mixed with mauve vibes but the tag says that it's maroon which I don't think that it's maroon you tell me what you think but I don't see maroon um, they actually had like this little like kiosk section of like tons of different velvet pieces it was like velvet dresses long sleeve shirts and then a couple of different colors in this style shirt and they were all like $12 I wanted to get every last one of them but I like controlled myself um but this is only $12 and it, I think it's like not like just the sale it's like the actual promotion of um what they're selling the shirt at so they had tons of deals um which is apparent because it's JCPenney and of course that department store is always having great deals but I just love this color I cannot wait to put this on the next piece I found was actually um, hidden <laughs> it was on a sales rack and it's just this turtleneck it's a gray turtleneck this is like classic fall winter basic vibes like you know this is great to go underneath anything so it's such a great layering piece and uh, I mean who doesn't love a good turtleneck so I just got this this is like on a super super sale um let's see this was on sale for four dollars and 97 cent and I think it was like a sale on top of their sale so this was even cheaper than this I think it was like almost for real maybe like two dollars or like one dollar 
um but yeah so you never know like go into those stores that you think are like for your mom or stores that you think won't have trendy pieces because you never know what you're gonna find but yeah all right, so the next item I want to show you is actually from a local sneaker boutique here in Austin. And I'll try to link a website or some type of social media of it. I'm trying to remember the name right now, but it's like drawing a blank. So it'll probably be like here or here or somewhere on the screen. But I actually picked up these amazing sneakers and I was like so excited about these. All right, so these are them. These are the Converse and CDG collaboration, the Como de Garçon <laughs> uh, collaboration, which has been circulating. These are the Play sneakers, and I absolutely love these. So they also come in another colorway. They come in black as well, and they also come in high top version as well, but I opted for these because I didn't have really that many like neutral colored shoes, and I also, um, didn't really want a high top. I kind of like what low tops look like, especially the Converse with like skinny jeans and just different type of like trousers and stuff like that. So I wanted to get a low top because I felt like that would be a little bit better for my style in particular anyway. Um, but I love these. I love the little play logo on it and it's just pretty much simplistic throughout the rest. Um, and it does have like this really nice like blue, it's like a navy blue like striped detailing on the back which is great but I just love these um, I feel like they're just the perfect little shoe to kind of add and of course a CDG like that's a great brand to kind of have in your like wardrobe um, so yeah I just kind of been building up on um, getting some more luxury pieces and thanks to my fiance like he was just like you have a lot of stuff you have a lot of trendy stuff but you don't necessarily have a lot of quality pieces it's about time to start building up that like wardrobe of quality pieces instead of just like a ton of like really cheaply made but trendier kind of things so i've been trying to like make my wardrobe over when it comes to that and just really get pieces that i'm going to love so i really really love these um they retail at about 120 bucks and that's pretty much like across the board i do know that nordstrom sells these as well so i'll try to link them down below with a nordstrom link um because i know that my my boutique, my sneaker boutique is pretty local and I'm not sure if they have a website, but if they do, it'll be linked down below as well. Um, but yeah, super, super cute. All right, so the last pieces in this haul are from the thrift store. And of course I cannot not include something from the thrift store because I don't really limit myself when it comes to finding pieces. As long as I can tell from the quality of the pieces, you know, if they're worth purchasing or not and I absolutely love going to the thrift store like I always have so that's the tangent okay I'm gonna just show you what I got so first I got these denim jeans and you see they're just like a basic indigo blue they're like a true blue denim um, I think they're a little more on the vintage -y side and they are from Levi and so it has that like great detailing to them really simplistic pocket um they have a little levi logo but the levi logo is like more of a burgundy color instead of like you know what the like bright red <laughs> levi logo as of right now so i'm not sure like what collection these are from or how old these are but they're like a really heavy denim really great for the winter time um they have tons of stretch to them so that's really great and they just say that they're a mid-rise skinny in the inside it doesn't have any numbers or anything like that so i'm feeling like i'm not sure <laughs> Um, how old these are or what but they're just a really really great pant and it kind of doesn't read as skinny to me it reads more of like a true straight leg and I believe they're like seven bucks so if you're looking for like quality denim I would totally go thrifting for it if you can't afford to like go out and get some salvage denim and stuff like that you know if you're looking for quality pieces kind of check out your local thrift shops and consignment shops because they tend to have really great quality and a lot of trendy pieces so this next piece I'm gonna show you is like I almost screamed when I saw it because I was like this is exactly what I was coming to the thrift store for because I knew that it was gonna be there and it's this blazer so if you can tell you can see this is the exact it blazer the exact statement blazer that has been in every shop every like fashion vlogger or any type of websites that you follow whether it's like who what wear or like fashion bomb daily or any of those type of sites you know they are going to talk about the latest fashion the trendiest fashion 
Vogue, like all of those, like, you know, talk about the statement blazer. And that is this guy. It's the like plaid, checkered, the hounds tube. All of these type of blazers are what's like popping right now. Most retailers are like asking for like, anywhere from like 50 to like $300 for a blazer that's like this. And it's like, these are all at the thrift store. I kid you not. Like, so I got this blazer for, I believe, I think it was $5.99, such a steal. And I love it. So I've washed it already. It's really great. I have not worn it yet because it's just now finally getting cold here in Austin. But I absolutely love this and I feel like this with like a super simplistic outfit and then a pop of like a booty like this it's not even showing up but like that like emeraldy green color and then like an all black outfit pop on this blazer <sighs> it's so chic I love it I cannot wait I am in love with the fall and winter time that's like my absolute favorite time to like style and really feel like dressed up and I just love the fashion because I love the layering aspect of it so yeah so that is all the things that I actually have been purchasing lately some of the things were from online some of the things I actually went out and shopped in store for so if you did like any of these things they will probably be linked down below um, but if I could not find them I will let you know and maybe try to find something similar and have those linked down below but yeah so this is my fashion haul if you have any questions let me know down below and i will try to answer them as quickly as i can but thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe and like and i'll see you in my next one bye